Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from Psalm 89.1. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever with my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. Evelyn Dove was born in London in 1902. She was the daughter of Francis Dove, a barrister from Sierra Leone, and Augusta Dove of Britain. Evelyn was educated privately until she studied singing, piano, and elocution at the Royal Academy of Music. As a trained contralto, she graduated in 1919 with a silver medal and a hopeful career on the concert platform. Despite her powerful voice, she struggled to break into the classical music scene. This was almost impossible to do in Britain for a black singer at that time, unless they were African American. As a result, Evelyn worked in London's cabaret shows and the all-black cast jazz reviews that toured Britain and eventually traveled to Europe, where she was a sensation. In the 1920s and 1930s, many African Americans settled in Europe, including Josephine Baker, Adelaide Hall, and Elizabeth Welch. They captivated audiences with their songs, beauty, elegance, and style. Evelyn stood alone as a black Briton who joined these trailblazers. They created a glamorous and exciting new image for black women in show business. Evelyn was also one of the true pioneers of the booming cabaret age. She thrilled audiences around the world, and her exquisite stage costumes helped to make her one of the most glamorous women of her time. Her career was one of many highs and lows, and she refused to be constrained by her race and English middle class background. Her greatest professional success was her work with the BBC as she became the first black singer to perform on BBC Radio and her regular appearances received great acclaim and helped to open the door for women of color in the industry. During World War II, she was one of radio's most popular singers, appearing in a wide range of musical and variety programs. Many of these were broadcasted to the armed forces. One program was so popular that it was transferred to a television series and she became a household name and one of Britain's first television stars in the early age of television. Evelyn Dove was a trailblazer who overcame barriers with determination and conviction. At times, we want our voices to be heard, but they seem to land on deaf ears, and we wonder if anyone is willing to listen to us. Is there anyone willing to give us a chance? In those times of disappointment and hardship, there is indeed another direction we can turn. Jesus is one who listens, and he is willing to uplift. Instead of songs of woe and disappointment, we need to keep the right songs in our hearts and sing songs of his steadfast love. We may start off singing, nobody knows the trouble I've seen, but when we remember Jesus, we will indeed shout out glory, hallelujah. When we find that we are drowned in, let us reposition ourselves and wade in the water and steal away to Jesus. Whatever you do, don't make no one turn you around, turn you around. And always remember, there is indeed a balm in Gilead. And one day, if we are faithful, he will carry us home. 
one day you are going to look over Jordan and you are going to ask the question, what did I see? And then you're going to have a smile on your face when you say, swing low, sweet carrot, coming forth to carry me home. Until that day, let us continue to be faithful. Let us continue to trust God and let us continue to keep a song in our hearts. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful for the songs you give us to sing. Help us to sing them. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. And as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation.